Hi everyone and welcome to my DAX Power Pivot Time Intelligence course in Excel 2016. Now let's just take a couple of minutes to go through everything you will know in just the next few hours. How exciting is that? So I'm going to lay out the course outline for you but first of all my credentials. My name's Jilly Dow, that's me there. I'm a Microsoft Office Master, an Excel expert and I've been a self-employed trading consultant for over 20 years, training in public and private sector, US military. That was great fun. That was IT security. But my first love is definitely Excel. And now that Power Pivot's come along, well, it did do quite a few years ago now, but just love it. So can't wait to take you through this course. Let's just have a look at the structure and I'll explain to you how I've laid out the course. So we're going to start off in the standard calendar and steps one to five. We're going to have a look at the baked in time intelligence DAX ready functions and they include families of functions including the dates, year to date, quarter to date, month to date. There's also previous year, month and day, first date, last date, end of month. We'll have a look at closing balance and then dates between. For those of you who were my students on my first course, the 10 Easy Steps for Beginners, we know all about Calculate and what a fantastic tool that is. Now Calculate has simple or raw filters baked in, but we're going to have a look at the filter function. It's an independent DAX function and boy oh boy how brilliant is this. And then have a look at percentage growth calculations. We want to create fantastic reports. So percentage growth calculations are lovely finishing touches. They provide the business insights and also allow for projections. So every manager's dream will have a look at that. Then we'll turn our attentions to the custom calendar and in particular the 445 flavour. Now we'll have to get that custom calendar into the data model. So I've got a video lecture all about that and how we're going to relate it to our existing data model. And then in steps six to 10, we're looking at the filter context, what's coming in from our pivot tables and having a look at behind the scenes so that we're super clear about how the engine works in the background. Now we're working in the custom calendar, so we have to start thinking about recreating all those goodies that we've already seen in steps one to five. The baked in time intelligence functions don't work with custom calendars. So it's going to be up to us guys to recreate the wheel. Now, as we go through these steps, we're going to notice some inconsistencies in our subtotals and in our totals. That's the time I introduce you to DAX patterns. You're going to love them. This is going to involve an understanding of navigation maths because we're going to have to learn how to traverse our custom calendar. And to do that, we're going to use min, we're going to use max and count rows. And the wonderful has one value. So we've got lots and lots to go through. So all of these steps, chaps, we do together. That's the video lectures. We go through it together. And then at the end of each step, there'll be a practice exercise. And once you've completed that, you can come back and there'll be a video lecture all about the solutions. So I'll take you step by step through the solutions and you can just ensure and reinforce everything that you've learned to that point. I introduce each new section with an objectives outline. And then when we've completed each step, we'll just take a recap of everything that we've learned. And that just helps us to embed all of our new knowledge. Don't skip these because there's some added little gems in there. And as I say, it just reinforces and answers perhaps any questions that might still be lurking. Then you'll have a quiz, just a bit of fun, before we go on to the next step. So that's how the course will run. Next, we'll just have a look at the files that you'll need to download. A quick look at the user guide that comes along with the course and just ensure that you're all set up, all systems go, and then we can crack on. So where are those files? Okay, chaps, so if you go to the course landing page and then just scroll up and to the course content and then just underneath the 
introduction. If you just click on it, you'll see the DAX Power Pivot Time Intelligence 10 Easy Steps zip folder. I think it's about nine megabytes. So I'm just going to click on that and save. And then we open the folder, there it is there. Now guys, I just like to extract that so I've always got my original download, but it's up to you, you'll, you'll do whatever you like. And then here is our folder extracted. So we've got the AdventureWorks database, we've got the PDF user guide and two Excel workbooks, the period ID, which we'll be having a look at later on, and the sales report TI, time intelligence, and that's the bulk of our work is going into the sales report. So we'll double click that to open it up. And there's a couple of errors that you'll see or warnings. So you'll enable editing. And the next one is a security warning and you can just enable the content. So perfect guys. We have to connect to the AdventureWorks database. So power pivot tab and manage to open up the data model window. And then on the home tab, if you just select existing connections and select edit, and then browse to wherever your downloaded folder is. And there's our AdventureWorks database and just click on OK. Click on Save and then Refresh. And then all of the tables, the products, sales, territories and customer tables will be transferred. So that's just ensuring that the AdventureWorks database and the sales report time intelligence workbook are working in harmony on your local machine. And we'll just click on close. And we are all set guys. Let's just go back here. Everything is perfect and it should be running beautifully on your systems. So let's just have another look at the other goodies that you've got. So we've got the user guide. Let's have a quick look at that. Let's just take a scroll through. Of course, you'll have your table of contents, a bit of an introduction. Let's just decrease the size so you can see slightly better. And then everything that we go through is located in our user guide. Okay, you'll also notice if I just come down after one of the exercises, I think it's about page 18 or so. Let's have a quick shifty down. You'll see, there it is, at the bottom of page 18, solutions. So when it comes to the practice exercises, guys, you'll have a go on your own, and then you'll come back and watch me in the solutions video. But you can have a look by just clicking the hyperlink, and it takes you to the back of the user guide where all the answers are. And then you just click on whichever practice exercise you're on, the heading, and it takes you back to where you were. What I would do is watch me go through the solutions video. This is more really if you've printed out the book and you're working independently. And although the hyperlink won't work if you've printed it out, at least all the answers are at the back of the book. OK, chaps? So I think we are raring to go. So I shall see you in step one where we'll be looking at the first time intelligence function on our list, and that's dates year to date. So I shall see you there. Can't wait, chaps.